Hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> and welcome to our channel. Welcome. I'm Alex. And I'm Max. Please subscribe because we are going on a pretty epic mammoth holiday. To Disney. Yep. Yeah, and we'll, other things. Yep, yeah, but we'll tell you more about that later. But it is pre-travel day. Hey, the best kind of day. The best and travel day. day. So we're going to head to Manchester Airport soon. We're just getting ready. I need to pack my case, which leads in nicely to the sponsor of today's video, which is Level 8 Luggage. Come on up. We're oh, getting a bit of a uh, house, house tour. tour as well. <laughs> we're running so late. We are running so late. So we wanted to be leaving ours at 3. It is what currently is it? 20 to 3. And I so, thought, but to be fair, everything's kind of there. It just needs to go there. from there into there. I've got 48 pairs of pants here. <laughs> Zip it up, put them in the car, you know what my and we're on the way. Shorts. I've got 14 pairs of shorts. For a two week holiday, you're not going to wear a different pair of shorts every single day, are you? I think we need to ration them I down. Can't. You can. No. Yes. Come on, shoes. So, my case is packed. <laughs> but we've now discovered. We haven't got enough room, have we, for everything? No. <laughs> so we've pulled out another case. Emergency hand luggage case. Emergency hand luggage case. That case and then Max's big case as well. <laughs> it zips up quite nicely. <gasps> the weight of a baby elephant. Good gosh. 40. <gasps> I'm gonna have to take some stuff out. You are, you've got too much stuff. 30. Taking some stuff out. Round two. Let's see this. That's a good start. This closes now. And I don't need to sit on it. Right. Comments down below how heavy you think it is now. It's like a competition. What were you before? 40? No. 30. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty. I've only taken two kilograms out. Well, is that all that you've taken out? Yes. <laughs> two kilograms is two bags of sugar. We're just dealing with it. <laughs> Alex and his overweight luggage. We're just dealing with it. <laughs> oh, it goes with the door nicely. It does. <laughs> to the car. From me. That's it. <laughs> it's gonna have to be. Where's your case gonna go? Your Let case will fit there, won't it? Yeah. Come Here on, he is with it. his Mickey one. Oh, are we gonna close? Is the boot gonna close? In this little one. Look at that, fits perfect. We done? I think so. Final checks done. Final checks done. Goodbye, house. Bye, house. See you soon. I have just got my car washed. <laughs> there is bird poo everywhere. Why? Why do birds target freshly cleaned cars? I don't know. Muck for luck, as they say, don't they? Where are we heading to, Alexander? We're on the way. Tell everybody I'm on my way. Um, so we're going to, obviously, Manchester Airport. We are indeed. And we're staying not at the Radisson Blue this time. No. Because it was hella expensive. <laughs> um, also, it's good to try new things. Try new things. And they built a new hotel within walking distance of the terminal. A uh, Holiday Inn. A Holiday Inn at Manchester Airport. Yeah, and it looks very nice. Yeah, it looks like it's got a lovely restaurant. Really nice restaurant. The rooms look really nice. It was a good price. So... Thought, let's try that. We left the house at about half past three, so we were a little behind schedule, weren't we? Yeah. But it's not too bad. 
Parking at the oh, it's there. Holiday yeah, there's the holiday. Park the inn. We're going past it in a second. So we're parking at the terminal two meet and greet. Manchester Airport terminal two meet and greet. Yes. So do that. You come right up the roundabout. You come off here. Where the new hotels are. These are the new hotels. There the it holiday is. The holiday inn, inn and the Ibis. And then the oh, okay. Ibis budget. And there's a run assembly that we normally stay at. Yeah. There you go, meet and greet. Terminal 2. This way. Right. And you go down Palmer Avenue. This is the hotel, right here. There it is. What a Get in lane. <laughs> T2 MNG. Well now we do this every time, where do we go? Level D. Level D. The barrier didn't open. <laughs> <laughs> the barrier didn't open, so we had to bus for assistance. I had to call someone. Yeah, but he literally just took our registration plate and said, yeah, I've got your book in, and opened the gate for us, didn't he? So yeah. we are currently on the way up to level D, and we just keep going up and up and up. So here we are on level D, up in the open air. Oh, there's the Holiday Inn. Yeah. Hi, Holiday Inn. I wonder if this barrier is going to rise for me. <laughs> Let's hope so. You've not got like a dead pigeon covering off your registration plate or something, have you? Let me follow the instructions on the screen. Please watch and follow. <laughs> oh. Another man spoken to to lift the barrier. <laughs> I don't it know what's going on. I forgot like a dead pigeon on my. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> so then you just follow the lane up to the next car. Oh, he's very far he's over. He's very far over. Everyone's very far over. Yeah. Then just park behind them. We have arrived at the airport. <laughs> and then once you've parked your car, you go to the meet and greet reception. I'm not just saying this to save the bike for us, but they're really easy. They're wheeling around. Nice. They do look very smooth, yeah, to be I fair. Because they're, they've got like, so compared to them, where the handle is just in the middle. Yes. This one is like. Yeah. And I bet you they're quite easy to push with one hand because the handles are like the same yeah. height and length and width. meet and greet reception where you drop off your key and the check-in. Now how do we get to get the Holiday to Inn? The holiday inn <laughs> well, we need to go down. Just push <laughs> Level A, I'm going to say. Okay, Someone just spoke to us. No. Actually, actually, there's a sign right there that says this way. <laughs> oh, there you go, Holiday Inn, right there, a sign.
So just for reference, there's Terminal 2. Arrival's down there. And you come all the way over to this sign. Ta-da! Hotel, hotel. <laughs> yeah. You to let us in. Oh, it smells good in here. We are on floor six. Which is not the highest one. No. There are seven. I might have done something. Yeah, of course. Here we go. What have we done? You know how sometimes they might email you and say, do you want to upgrade your room for this much? <laughs> yeah. I just can't say no to them emails. <laughs> That way. Do you reckon it's right again? Guess we will see. You go. Yeah, it's going to be right at the end of the 645 is the last one. <laughs> oh, here we are. oh god, here we go. Welcome to room 644 of the Holiday Inn, Manchester Airport. Oh, there are the planes. There are the planes. Oh, here we go. Oh, what have we got? Wow. Oh, there's the control tower. Ready. Are we what is this? Yes, we we're ready? filming. <sighs> what on earth? Oh, wow, we've got a <laughs> We've got a whole living room. <laughs> oh. Oh, a bottle of champagne. Burn. Champagne. Welcome. Oh my gosh, Alex. Welcome to the Holiday Inn Manchester Airport. Please enjoy a bottle of fizz on us to get your holiday started. There you go. Let's wish Sarah and the team. <gasps> Thanks, Sarah and the team at the Holiday Inn Manchester Airport. I appreciate that. Can I just show you something else that I'm really excited for? We've got a terrace. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a terrace. How cool is that? Oh We've got a balcony. This it's going to be this one because that one's bolted. Oh, how did you do that? <laughs> oh my gosh! How cool is this? Oh my gosh! Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> <laughs> what even is this? <laughs> Chilling on my terrace. Chilling on your terrace. Enjoy your view. Oh, look at the people going through the. Is that called the Skylink? I've just seen something else on the <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. gosh. Well, Welcome to Holiday in Manchester Airport. Remember, adults are only kids grown up. Walt then, Disney. Go on. Mickey Mouse. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Ah, oh, have you requested that to be put no, on, or have they just put they, that on? They just put that on. Ah, oh, that's so lovely. How do they know we're going to Orlando? I, probably, I, I don't know. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's that so lovely. Probably. Wow. Oh, here's the... The so fridge. He said when we checked in as well... Oh, I could just eat a Kit Kat chunky. Everything is complimentary. Yeah. In, in the fridge. Yeah. So I don't know if that's just with this room... Um, but yeah, all the mini bar, all the snacks, everything that you find, he says, is all included in the all price. Included. So help yourself. I'm loving this room. Yeah, this is amazing. Gosh. <laughs> oh, that mirror is so cool. I don't know if so you can. Lovely. No, get out the reflection because I don't know if you can see it. There you go. <laughs> cool. That's cool. Look. Nice big bed. Look. We've got a bath with a shower. Nice bath and a shower. I do enjoy bath having a bath. Shower. Oh my gosh. And another shower. We can literally both shower at the, shower same, at the time. same time. Wow. That toilet roll art's amazing. Look at that. Gosh. Oh, life is life like, is a, like a, a mirror. Smile, smile and smile. smile back at you. Back at you. There you go. Oh, that's lovely. That oh gosh, so nice. this is so cool. I it love is, all these little it? touches. 
Look at the little flower. Oh, gosh. This yeah. is so lovely. You've got some products as well. Urban skincare coat. I can't, I can't get over here. This is an apartment. This is an apartment. This is probably some, bigger than some people's What's apartments. Oh, we've got another mini fridge. Oh, this is... Oh, my God, there's more stuff in here. Oh yeah, the more Kit Kat Chunkies. Make sure we take them with us. Kit Kat Chunkies, wine, water, there's crisps there. Teas, Teas coffees, coffees, Prosecco, oh, and wine. Prosecco. Merlot. Nice. Wow. Nice. And then, is that a wardrobe slash luggage space? Wardrobe, hair dryer, safe, iron, mining board. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Golly gosh. I feel like we've just uh, given you a room tour. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Thank you, Holiday Inn. Yeah, thank you, Holiday Inn. Sarah, yeah. yeah. And literally, the guy checking us in was lovely, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, really Honestly, nice. Everyone's nice. And it smells really nice Does. as well in this hotel. Does. Look at the planes and the control tower. Enjoy the view. We've just dropped the bags off in the room. As you've just seen. <laughs> yeah. Um, in the amazing room. And now we are just heading back down oh, right. to, oh, <laughs> uh, to the restaurant. Uh, to grab some food because we were a bit naughty today and didn't have any lunch, did we? So we are starving. Yeah, okay. I think it's a the, the restaurant here, the Moroccan themed restaurant. Ooh, yeah. nice. Thank you. It's a Turkish restaurant, like I said, um, rather than a Moroccan, which Alex thought. However, oh, so yeah, there's two yeah. different menus that she's given us. So this one is the main <laughs> restaurant menu which is Turkish cuisine. Um, yeah, they are, aren't they? Um, but then she's also given us the more British menu that's got, like, burgers and Caesar salads and fish and chips and stuff like that on it. Um, but she said she'd highly recommend the Turkish cuisine menu as that's what the restaurant specialises in. Yeah. So here we've got some starters there. And... So, Stephen mm. Grill, sides and thirds, Oops. and then there's like the wine menu here on the side. Mm. Our starters have arrived, and the wines. So I've gone for the Baba Ganoush, which comes with flatbread. Yeah, and I've gone for the oven baked halloumi served in the tomato sauce with... Flatbread. Them starters were so good, they were weren't really, they? Really good. That Bubba Ganoush. <laughs> Bubba Ganoush was really, really nice. Um, so we both pretty much got the same thing. Yeah, but one is chicken and one is... Lamb. Lamb, chicken and a portion of chips. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be eating that chilli though. Oh. Max has got some milk for the teas. They've got a little Starbucks. Yes. In the uh, bar reception area. reception area as well, which is nice. Oh, hi, apartment. Oh, it's a bit chilly in here. Now that we've arrived at the hotel and we're not in as much of a rush, we just thought we would show you a little bit more detail about the luggage that we've been sent by the sponsors of this week's video, Level 8 Luggage. This is a Voyager 30 inch checked in luggage and this one is a 20 inch carry on. One thing I really like about them is this handle. Yeah, it's good. It's got a built-in TSA lock on the side. Another handle here on the side as well. Also the same case for the 20-inch carry-on as well. It's got a TSA lock there. Open it up. One thing I like about these is this wet compartment that it's got. So if you've got any like toiletries that you worried might leak or sun creams. Or if you go swimming on your, swimming last, on day your last day and you want to just throw your swim suit in there. Whack it in there. Save everything else getting wet. We've got another zip compartment here. This is your main compartment. Deep, with a isn't it? Strap there as well. And one thing I really like about these, so because the handle to the luggage is on the outside, you haven't got that bar which runs down the centre, so it's a completely flat area for you to put all your luggage in. 
and it's got a nice little strap as well. Look at this. Yeah, and pull it tight. And pull it tight. And then on this side, big compartment. It all feels like lovely high quality, doesn't it? And like yeah, um, everything's really nice. All the materials are really nice that they've used on it. What I mean by the handle goes on the outside. Yeah, it's nice. Oh yeah, it's got little like feet. Yeah, here for it to lie on its side. Yeah, and also on its back as well, isn't it? Yeah, but as you can see, it slides nicely. 20 inch carry on, exactly the same inside. So it's got your wet compartment again, another little dry compartment, main storage area in there again, which is flat, another little storage compartment here. Great for if you're going away for the weekend. I love the like two tone bit of it. Yeah, it's like a nice mint ch I think chip color. That these colors are limited edition at the moment. Oh, okay. The handles go oh, to yeah. like the same height, so they're very easy to just steer and push around with one hand. If you like the look of the luggage, there is a 20% off sale coming up between the 8th and 11th of October. However, just in time for Christmas. Yeah. If you're watching this video after the 11th of October, we've still got you covered. <laughs> we've got a 10% off code, which is Max and Alex 10, which you can enter at the checkout. We'll also leave a link in the description below for you to go and check out the luggage yourself. We'd really appreciate it if you did hit that link if you are interested. Do they ship worldwide? Yes. So they also provide worldwide shipping and free shipping to the US, Canada and Europe as well. Yeah. And actually the processing time, I think it came within two days of us. Yeah. Dead had a new quick. order place, didn't it? Yeah, dead quick. Really, really quick. Um, and they were packaged really nicely. They came in these lovely travel bags, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, really recommend them. Definitely. Thanks again to Level 8 Luggage for sponsoring this week's video. Thanks, Level 8. And uh, now it's tea time. Ah, lovely. Lovely. So, so. What did you think of dinner? Dinner was really good. Loved it. Really, really nice. I was saying, I'm like, I think I prefer staying here than the Radisson, the Radisson Blue. Blue over the road. The restaurant is just nicer. The rooms are a bit nicer. Granted, we're not staying in a standard room. I feel like the rooms are a lot lighter and brighter. Well, the newer, aren't they? Yeah. A lot more modern. Highly recommend this hotel if you're staying in Manchester. Definitely. And it's Flying like from Manchester. Easy walking distance within... Literally just walk over two, and you're it? at the terminal. So we've just got our teas. Just grabbed this tea. And our Kit Kat chunkies. Yeah. And we're sitting outside on the balcony with our duvet. Yeah, with our duvet. Watching, watching the, the planes take planes off. Taking off. They do take off. They, they're taking off over there at the moment. A rundown of okay. what is in store. The Max and Alex adventures. This, the Max and Alex this adventures trip. this trip. We have two nights at Caribbean Beach, followed by four nights at Fort Wilderness in, in the, the new, new cabins. Great sticking off! Um, yeah, really looking forward to that. Oh, also, we are hiring a car <gasps> to get to the airport. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the first trip that we've hired a car on arrival. Um, Alex is excited for the plane. So we have, like, hired a car on a last trip, isn't it, when we went across to NASA. Yeah, the Kennedy Space Centre. Yeah, the Kennedy Space Centre. So we hired it, but like only for a day then. But this time we're picking it up when we arrive at the airport, yeah. aren't we? And we are keeping it for a little while. Yeah, hiring a car at the airport. Um, two nights at Caribbean Beach. Four nights at Fort Wilderness in the new cabins. Very excited for that. We're also doing hoop to do there, aren't we? Yes. Hoop to do We've restaurant, never done hoop -de -do, musical hoop -de -do thing. Before. Nope. Then we're driving out. We're leaving Disney property. <laughs> we are leaving the bubble. Well. Kind of. And we're driving to Vero Beach, so Disney's Vero Beach Resort. <laughs> to another Disney to the property. Disney <laughs> so those that don't know, Disney own a beach resort yeah. at Vero Beach. Out on the coast. Yeah. So we're staying there for two nights, then driving down to Fort Lauderdale to catch the Disney magic for five nights. Doing a Halloween on the high seas cruise. Yes. Calling at Mexico Cozumel. and Castaway Key. And Castaway Key. And I don't know how, but somehow, as silver members of Disney Cruise Lines Club, <laughs> we managed to book a cabana. We're not concierge. We're not concierge. <laughs> normally, so for those that don't know, a cabana at Castaway Key normally is impossible to get unless they you're... go like hotcakes. They go like hotcakes. Unless you're concierge level or like a pearl, pearl member. member. 
because but they have exclusive opening dates. Yeah, so their them. opening dates are a lot earlier than everyone else's. And they've only got so many on the island. But randomly, I was looking at the app one day and one just appeared. I was like, ah! Fuck it! Fuck it, quick! So yeah, five night cruise on the Magic, which was our very first cruise with Disney Cruise Line that we did. Yeah, so it'll be nice going back on there. Um, and I'm also really looking forward to Halloween on the high seas as Halloween well. High seas. We have costumes. Yeah, so there is Pirate Night <laughs> um, and like a Halloween night, isn't Halloween it? It's called night, Masquerade yeah. Night on them. Oh yeah, it is. Hall- um, yeah. But Masquerade the night. dress attire is Halloween. And then, so when we disembark in Fort Lauderdale, we get another hiring another car for the day, driving back to Disney World and staying at Coronado Springs in the Tower. We've not stayed in the Tower before either. But then also when we go back this time, we are doing hmm. the Wild Africa Trek. Yes, Or that. attempting to, again. Because those that don't know, in our last series, we attempted to do Wild Africa Trek. And on it Alex's got birthday. Yeah, on my birthday. And it completely rained out. They cancelled it. So we've booked it again, haven't we? Probably to get rained out again. Oh, let's not. <laughs> We're sending good vibes. Um, but also that day, we are doing the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So that is what is in store for you on this little vlog series that, that we've got. That is our amazing trip that we've got lined up. And I don't know if we said we're flying with Virgin tomorrow. We are flying upper class. We haven't paid for upper class because it's crazy expensive. So we were originally booked into premium using points. Um, yeah, points air miles. Then I got sent a rewards voucher because those that don't know if you use your Virgin credit card, Virgin Atlantic credit card, you spend so much you get given a reward voucher. So I was able to use the reward voucher for two upgrades to upper class. You still yeah. have to pay the taxes and fees on it, but it's a lot cheaper than paying full price for upper class. So very excited for that. Make sure that you tag along, subscribe if you haven't already. Yes. And leave a comment down below as to what you're most looking forward to. Yeah. We will see you in about three seconds for travel day. Yee! Good morning. It's travel day. Yeah. I've got up early because I couldn't sleep. I was just waking up every hour with excitement like a kid at Christmas. So I've just decided to come down and get us some Starbucks. Well, Princess is still sleeping. Starbucks. Acquired. See if he's awake. Are you in? We're coming in with Starbucks. Starbucks. Hooray! Max is just getting ready. I'm sat outside on our veranda, watching the planes. Let me show you. Ah. Watching the world go by. I was thinking, is there a more exciting place than an airport? I'm just watching all these people walking up and down with their cases, wondering where they're going. They're excited for holidays. You're going on business. Where are they all off to? But there's just such a buzz, isn't there, around an airport. I love it. Last night when we were in the restaurant, everyone was so happy and chatty and excited to go away. I love it. Are you ready? Who's ready to go on holiday? We are! Ah! Have we got everything? I think so, yes. We've got everything. I've gone around and done a check. Well done. Let's go. We roll. After you. Thank you. Goodbye, room. Goodbye, lovely room. Goodbye, lovely room and view. You've served as well. You got the room key. Goodbye, Holiday Inn. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Bring the way. Yeah. It has really good. As you can see, Manchester Airport is currently undergoing a lot of renovation. <laughs> and we're through. We're through security. Yeah. Pretty Alex uneventful. Is- Questionable shoes though. My shoes always get taken off and searched and my legs searched and I don't know. But we're looking for some headphones. Yeah, Max wants some headphones to take away because his have started disintegrating, haven't they, on his ears. Yes. 
See, these are the ones I've got. Purchase made. Same as mine. Bubbling. And I need some more Kiehl's Power Serum. So you've made a purchase, now I need to make one. Hi. That's what I need. And we're through duty free. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What did I say when I just purchased that? She said, have a safe flight. I oh. said, thank you too. <laughs> She's not going on a flight. Uh -huh. <laughs> In Manchester now, you've got loads of good options at Terminal 2. So you've got an amber ale house, a giraffe. I don't know what that is. San Carlo. San Carlo. The Bridgewater Exchange. And the Evergreen. The Evergreen. And then the lounges are down there. Let's go. So, escape lounges outside and the 1903 lounge assistant. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's great, thank you. So, once you've checked in at the desk, you continue down here, and if you go into the escape lounge, you then go to the left hand side, wait there to be seated, and that's the escape lounge in there. If you go into the 1903 lounge, you continue straight on and come through these doors here. Wave to open them. And I think. Sometimes you have to wait to be seated, but I think today we can just find a seat. Are we sitting in the spot where we're sat back here? Possibly, yeah. I guess we'll sit here for now. Do you want to sit in the corner or not? All the nice seats by the window are taken, aren't they? They're all taken. I will be eyeing people leaving <laughs> there so I can go and watch the planes. And you'll run. I will run. We've got all your premium spirits yeah. and drink. Champagne round there. You've got all your coats, mixes, mixes, tonics, more boxes. I'm trying to find a little glass for my juice. <laughs> like Alex says, there's all the spirit on the top. Uh, snacks, popcorn, sweets, crisps. And then these are juices, so this is multivitamin, mm. orange, and apple. apple. Do you want any ice in your juice? Um, I don't think I do. Got juice to one. Mm, I might get multivitamin with you. And then this is currently breakfast, so we've got obviously some bread. Um, if you want it toasting, you have to give it to a member of staff and they'll toast it for you. Um, we've got some tomatoes, scrambled egg, tater tots, nuts bacon, some sauces, cutlery. Sausages, mm. and this is obviously the tater tots. And then in here we've got baked beans. And then normally there's like a selection of pastries here, so tarts, seat and mess. Oh, do oh. you know what? They're getting ready for the lunch, lunch stuff, isn't it? Yeah. So what have you gone for, Alex? Start. Sausage, bacon, scrambled egg, mini hash browns and beans. Yeah, I've just got eggs, beans, mini hash browns and sausage. We've moved to this table as, oh, I haven't got a knife before. <laughs> We've come at the right time, we get breakfast and lunch. <laughs> and Max has already got the cakes. I'm on the carrot cake. Carrot cake and lemon... Meringue. Lemon meringue cake. And then he's just tried this and it nearly blew his head off. Yeah, whatever's busted on the tortilla chips is fine. I see. <laughs> Our gate has been called. We're at gate 204. Just be warned for the transformation of Manchester Airport. You will walk a while to your gate. <laughs> I played Fearless Lady. She's three years old. Are they going to wave at us? Wave. Here we go, here we go. Oh. Mickey Mouse, we're coming for you. And friends. And friends. All of you. Hi, 
Hello, you okay? Hello, hello. Thank you very much. Hello. You're just saving all the movies you're going to be watching. Yeah. Choice of curried cauliflower soup, lemon and chili marinated prawns, mains. We've pre ordered our mains, haven't we? Yeah. We've pre ordered the chicken and mushroom pie, but we've also got pan roasted cod and pumpkin girasoli. <laughs> Dessert, dark chocolate, and morello cherry delish de de or a warm fig and polenta cake. And cheese. Oh, we've got mile high tea 90 minutes before landing. And then there's the wine list champagne, cocktails, feel good drinks. My little cocktails arrived. What did you like? Caribbean <laughs> Queen. <laughs> That's you. Hang on, let me tell you what's in it. I just the lemonade because I'm driving. Bacardi, ginger ale, and pineapple. Cheers. Cheers. Happy fucking holidays. What's it taste of? Hmm. It's like. Food's arrived. Max has already like demolished his. Mine did come before you. It did. Here's mine. So we've had. Both have the same thing. Yeah. So I've had chicken and mushroom pie. It's delicious. Chicken is it really good? Really hot, but delicious. Yeah. So chicken and mushroom pie with veg, little bread roll. I've got some wine and water. That chicken pie was really good. Really delicious. Really, really it? delicious. It was really delicious. With your like lava hot. It was lava hot. And I said to her, I just said, that chicken pie is delicious. And apparently it's a new menu. Yes. And she hasn't even tried it. And I said, you need to try it. Yeah, so she's going to go and try it. Very so it is really tasty. And I'm having dessert is the fig and something polenta uh, something. No, it was fig and polenta cake, wasn't it? 
Yeah, I'll show you it when it arrives. But Max has just gone straight for the cheese and biscuit. Cheese and biscuits. Cheese and biscuits. Cheese and biscuits. And I'm having a cup of tea. Oh, she hasn't asked me for Oh, sorry. You're not sharing mine. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We've moved to the booth. We have. This is the booth. I mean, you do play a bit of knee walls, don't we? A little bit. <laughs> but they have got a TV here. And you can link up your Bluetooth to here to listen to things. They've got plug, USBs. Can you watch films on here? Oh, TV. Headspace. Relaxing headspace. <laughs> but you can watch the tail cam as well. There you go. Well, we've come here for our afternoon tea to be served. Oh right, okay. So now our selection of afternoon teas arrived. So you could have like a traditional one with sandwiches and cakes, or I've had a crispy chicken bower bun, and now that's arrived. What does Max want? The crispy chicken bower bun. Yeah, the crispy chicken. That's mine. <laughs> so we've got our coffees, scones, cakes, chicken and cheese sandwiches, which is a chicken, one chicken sandwich, sandwich one, one cheese, cheese sandwich. sandwich. Max thought it was a chicken and cheese sandwich um, on one sandwich. But then what I've done is I've got the chicken slice and I've got the cheese slice, and I've got a chicken and cheese sandwich. Chicken and cheese sandwich. Chicken and cheese sandwich. That bow bun was really good, wasn't it? Yeah. Delicious. Don't worry, I told the crew that you had half mine. <laughs> what did they say? Very kind of you. Don't sit with him again. <laughs> they said. <laughs> How long have we got left? An hour and 25. This no, flight is flying by. Well, I wonder if it's good we're going super fast because there's no weight on the plane because we won't have it. That's true. I don't know if I said, but there's, there's only 70 people on the flight. <laughs> So we've done online check-in for Disney and we've just got a notification. We're ready to check out where we are. Yes! Yes! <laughs> so just to put this into context why I'm so excited. <laughs> so if you don't know, Caribbean Beach used to have pirate rooms. And yep. so if you really, really don't know, Caribbean Beach is split into different sections, isn't it? So there is like different countries around the Caribbean, which is like different sections of the resort. Yes. So for example, there is a Jamaica section, a Aruba section, yeah. a Trinidad section, which used to be a pirate, pirate room. Really you used to have to pay extra for to stay. So they got rid of them and rethemed them all to the class of the Little Mermaid rooms. But they're Great. like the modern rooms at Caribbean Beach. They're the only ones that have been renovated. And I sent a request in via online chat a few weeks ago if we could be in the Trinidad section, so which are freshly the refurbished rooms. freshly refurbished rooms. And I didn't know if it had gone through because my chat ended and no one replied. <laughs> but I've just checked and it says we're in Trinidad. <laughs> Ready for the carpet. Ready for the carpet. Bye. Here we go. A 
beautiful carpet. Hello. We made it. We made it. We landed. That was the quickest time getting through immigration. Bags were first off. Yeah. We actually walked through, didn't we? We got up the lift, didn't have to go up the escalators. Yeah. The little train thing was waiting for us. Yeah. And now we're here. Yeah. So welcome. <gasps> lift or escalators? Oh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> Rental car pickup. Yeah, hello. Mo. Hello, there was a person just waiting there. We've done the online check in, by the way. I'll talk to you about that in a second. But you just come to the car category that you've booked and all the keys are already in the vehicle. So which one do we want? <laughs> Any mid-size SUV. Any mid-size SUV we want. What's that white one? Nissan. Jeep. Uh, Hyundai. Hyundai. I don't know which one I'm going to go for. Which one would everyone else go for? That's a good size. Yeah. What are we thinking? What's the screen like? The sat nav screen, that's for me. The sat nav screen. Like that. <laughs> what about the screen? Um, shall we try? This is a very difficult decision. Why can't someone make the decision for us? <laughs> Here's the car you're having, just go. Which one? That's got the smaller screen, that's a middle size screen, that's the largest screen. Yeah, the only problem is that big to small, but I think... Jeep? Do you want the black Jeep? There's a black Jeep down there. Or are we happy with... Jeep. Oh, let's go for a white Jeep. That'll yeah. match the cars at home. <laughs> We've decided on the red. Red Jeep. Oh, I look a bit sweaty. <laughs> are you sure? We're sure, yeah, come on, open the boot now. <laughs> and I guess it's an easy colour to remember. That's the new Bright Line station. Hi. And if you hadn't guessed, we're on our way. We'll be able to take a video with the Disney sign. We will, oh, a good video. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Disney bubble. <laughs> Caribbean beach. Uh, Our first resort we stayed at together, Max. It is. I'm going to stay in it again. Welcome. We're through. We're here. We're in. <laughs> Hello, Skyliner Station. Hello, Joffreys. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hello, people! Ooh, I'm so We're excited. We're building 36. 36. Is that going to be 34? Oh, it says here. 35 down there somewhere. And this is the view that we've got. Are we ready? I'm going to be sat there watching the skyline. Are we ready to go in? <laughs> this is where your magic man battery's dead. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, wow. It is lovely. Do you want to bring the keys? Yes, we'll bring them in. Just move out of the way so I can see the painting. There we go. Ooh, this is nice. Very, very nice. Oh, it smells nice too. 
There we go. Oh, we've got nice shower doors rather than a shower curtain. This bathroom's lovely. Yeah. Little full on wardrobe. There you go. Some more storage in there. Nice. Some nice drawers down there. Look at that. Look at the full room tour. Lovely. Hi, Mickey. Hi, Mickey. Okay. <sighs> Bag's dropped off in the room. Bag's dropped off, and Max has forgotten his phone in the car. Yeah. Chaotic room video tour. On the phone done. <laughs> We've not shown you guys yet. Um, oh my oh, god. Yeah, I've got a blue tail. That was like a little lizard walking Lots around. Little lizards. There's one there. Oh, and there. <laughs> and there. Oh. Loads. So we're just going to get Max's phone and then we're going to head to Old Port Royal, which, which is the main hub. Yeah, so where all the, the food drinks, shop, reception, main pool is, to get our refillable mugs, get some juice, we all know the special juice, and maybe some food. Phone acquired. Phone acquired. From Jerry the Jeep? We've just named the Jeep Jerry. Jerry. Jerry Jeep. He is a Jeep, isn't he? He is a Jeep. He is a Jeep. Jerry Jeep. Look how gorgeous. It is. Now the sunset. I do love. All the lights are coming on. In Florida, that like the evenings are warm. Yeah, so I love that. So you can just go out in your shirt and your yeah, shorts. shorts and just shorts can stay on. Not be afraid about getting cold. Not be afraid about having to take jumpers or trousers out. And then, yeah, I just love you can just. It is nice. Go out and enjoy the evening. Was that a bat? What was that? <laughs> I don't know. Some sort of like dragonfly or something. Hi, hello. The Riviera. Such a nice resort. Just gone under. Oh, yeah. There he is. Oh, I can't really see him anymore. Oh, no. Oh, there, there he is. is. He <laughs> Hi. Welcome. Oh, Port Royal. There's a little bit of a smell. There's a hint in the air. What, are we going straight into the shop? <laughs> it would look that way. <laughs> oh, come on. Look at Halloween stitch. Yeah, that's cute. Mini and Nicholas. Halloween lounge flies. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at these pop sockets. Ah, they're cool. Oh, they're magnetic as well, they're not the stick on ones. All the magic band ones. Oh, the Mickey one's cute. Refillable mugs purchased. They were $46. I would like the vitamin water, the juice. Mmm, ooh, orange. Oh no. Oh, oh gosh, all the traces. Yeah, go orange. Hooray! Refills until the 18th. I think everyone's just come back from the park. <laughs> it is busy. It's so busy. So we're just going to mobile order some food on the app. So here it is. You select where you are between now and eight. Market. Yeah, it's same market. Mixed grilled platter. Half roasted chicken, cheeseburger. Ooh, what's a swashbuckler burger? Grilled blend burger topped with toasted coconut, aioli, jalapeno, you went like that. Hot Cuban sandwich, rum and mango pulled pork sandwich, turkey sandwich, chicken bowl, jerk chicken served over rice and beans with sliced tomato, cucumber salad. So I'm going for the hot Cuban sandwich because I'm pretty sure that's what I had at the Grand Floridian last time we stayed and it was tasty. Side. Fries, gotta be fries. Included, included. Add. 
celebrate. Epcot. We've decided. Oh, look at all the ducks. Yeah. The ducks. <laughs> um, we've decided they've got another quick service pretty much next to the building that we're staying, building in. We're staying in. So in Trinidad, they've got another pool and another quick service. Not as big as the Centre Town Market, but it's still there. And they got a slightly different menu. They still have the hot, what did that mama have? Hot Cuban sandwich. Yeah. They've still got that there, so I'm happy. But they've also got chicken tacos and pork tacos there, yeah. which Max is going to have. Yeah. They only had fish tacos at that one. Yeah. The one we're going to now is called Spyglass Grill. Oh, I can build it now. Arrival between now and 8.10. Cuban sandwich. Right. Mojo pork tacos. Yeah. Oh wow, look at that. You got. To go? Shall we take it back to the room? Mm -hmm. Wow. Only Disney could make a, a skyline know. station look so good. Was that lightning over there? Did you see that? Did you see that, people? Oh, no, oh yeah, there, look. Did no. you see? Oh, yeah. I think that's lightning over there. Ah. And here is the spy glass grill. Literally right by door. Prepare my order. We should have come here first. Look. Ah. That noise, that noise just reminds me of Disney. Hooray! And just like that, we're back. Welcome home! Welcome home! Oh. oh, it's freezing in here. I know we've just been sat down for nine hours, <laughs> but that feels good sitting down again. What have you ordered? I've forgotten. Uh, oh, the pork tacos. tacos. With fries. Oh, and you've got a line down there. Yep. There we go. Oh, I thought that was the pork. I was thinking that pork looks a bit pink. Onion. Pork underneath. And then I've got... This is my Cuban sandwich. God, it's red hot. Mmm. Delicious. Just before we sign off... How was dinner? Good. I enjoyed my hot Cuban sandwich. Yeah. I had a lot of gherkins on, which you hate, but I love gherkins. Pickles. My tacos were nice as well. They were good. And I... We had a lot, didn't we? Like, yeah, a lot of food. Uh, so it was lovely. I feel a bit better now. Now I've eaten and <clears throat> drank Edited. and sat down again. So <laughs> before we sign off, we're just going to give you a quick room tour because we realised we just kind of flew in and then flew back out. As I said before, this is one of the refurbished rooms at Caribbean Beach in the Trinidad section and they are Little Mermaid themed. Yes. But subtle touches of Little Mermaid. Yeah. Don't let that put you off. No, it's not like you've got Little Mermaid everywhere. It's just nice little touches. And they're very, very nice. The so, re-theming. Very I light think. and very Caribbean themed, I feel, isn't it? So let us show you. As you walk in then, you've got a queen bed over there, a Murphy bed there, which pulls down. We'll show you that in a bit. And then another pull-down bed there. So what? One, two, three, four, five people? Yeah. Yeah, five people sleeps. You've got a TV on the wall there. You've got loads of storage. There's three drawers under that bed. Do you want to show them that bed pulled down? Yeah. So when they say little mermaid feet, like, that's it, like the artwork. So you've got Sebastian in the hot crustacean band all asleep. Hi, Sebastian. <laughs> so that's the one of the pull-down beds. On top, you've got USB-C, USB and two American plugs. Um, coffee table here that lifts up like that so you can sit on the table and have a seat there. Like we've just done? Yeah. And I think these are a brilliant thing they've installed because it creates so much space. Oh, the light comes on on its own. Ah. There you go. We've got Slam Dora sleeping the Cave of Wonders there. Cave of something. Cabin of Wonders, whatever it's called. And then when you're done, push it back up. And a sofa reappears. As if by magic. So like I said, you've got three drawers there. You've got three deep drawers there. This is where your mini fridge is. Another drawer there. Your safe is in there and your bin. And then this is where your coffee is. 
with the best coffee in the world, Joffrey's. Does that TV pull out? Does it move? Yes. Yes, it moves. <laughs> your ice bucket and then some more little mermaid themes. Storage under the bed so you can put your suitcases under there. You've got two American plugs again, USB-C and a USB. A Hey Disney, and your phone, drawer in there. Oh, you've also got reading lights on either side. A little towel Mickey, hello. And then on that side, you've got exactly the same plugs, two American, USB-C and a USB, and a little table. Oh, there's some more plugs down there as well. You've got a partition door here that separates, obviously, the bathroom. Ooh, soft the clothes. Door. Yeah, so if you want a bit of privacy, what's going to change, you can come in here. I really like this bathroom, how they've remodelled this in the, the colours and everything. You've got a bit in them sink. Lovely huge backlit mirror, it's nice, isn't it? Really nice. The tiles on the floor, Yeah. really nice. Really nice. And one thing I noticed, how cute is this? So for the little ones, ah, a little step so, little they, can step so they can stand up. The Brush mirror. your teeth, blah, blah, blah. You've got another storage drawer there. And here... You've got your wardrobe, your extra pillow and blankets, hangers, uh, ironing board, steamer, and your luggage rack. And your hair dryer is there. There's more storage there. And you've got your uh, vanity mirror there. Along with two more plugs. And come on through to the toilet. <laughs> the toilet so, and shower. The toilet. Yeah, and shower. Uh, it's lovely ah. artwork with Sebastian and Flounder there. Hi. Uh, some nice towel <laughs> nice, towels. Lovely towels. Yeah, <laughs> nice little Disney towel. We've got the shower screen for all the little curtains. Yes. Which I prefer. You've nice got a shower. nice shower head and a washing line there. And if we notice, <gasps> it no longer says H2O thing. and all the branding has changed. Yeah. It's still exactly the same. I think Disney bought out the uh, H2O products. But yeah, they still smell exactly the same. No longer H2O with a Disney sticker on top. No, it's no longer that. <laughs> There's your room tour. I hope you've enjoyed it. And we're going to sign off now, aren't we? I think so. We're both very tired. We're going to yeah. get into bed. What time is it? I think we're going to have a quick shower, get into bed. It's 20 past eight. <sighs> we, might <have> to <laughs> a little bit. we might have to watch a film on TV. Yeah. So yes, thank you very much for joining us. Yes. I hope you've enjoyed our travel day, pre-travel day. If you have enjoyed it and you're not already subscribed, hit that little subscribe button and yeah. your little notification bell because this will be a series yeah. and as previously mentioned we've got a lot of epic things coming up. So give us a little like if you've enjoyed the video. Uh, tune in next week when we are at the Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. You have Bye. to do the Magic Kingdom on your first day. You do. Got to be done. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching. Good night. Night. Mm -hmm.